Yes, people, we are calculating the gradient midpoint and magnitude of a line segment called TS. And it's shown here in the Cartesian coordinate plane. So let's get started with number one. Let's find the gradient. Remember this formula. Y1 subtract Y2 over X1 subtract X2. We are going to use this formula. We are going to substitute values for y1, y2, x1, and x2. y1 and y2 represent the y coordinates. So I'm circling them for you. This is y1 here, negative 2. And this is y2 here, negative 3. So we are going to say negative 2 subtract negative 3. all over x1 is positive 1 circled here and x2 is positive 4 circled here so we will have divide by 1 subtract 4 we work this out so negative 2 minus minus is a plus all over 1 take away 4 is negative 3 negative 2 plus 3 we work out the numerator we get 1 over negative 3 the answer is minus 1 third okay so the answer for the gradient is negative 1 over 3 okay the midpoint now let's get the midpoint number 2 what they are asking us for is the coordinates of the midpoint okay the x and the y coordinate and midpoint means middle point of the line the cent where is the middle of the line that's the question so let's apply this formula x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2. Just substitute values into that. So x1 and x2 would be 1 and 4 as I have circled. So we will have 1 plus 4 over 2, comma y1 plus y2 is negative 2 plus negative 3. Let's write out negative 2 plus negative 3 all over 2. Okay, let's work this out. 1 plus 4 is 5 over 2, so that is our x coordinate, comma, negative 2 plus or minus 3 will give minus 2 minus 3 over 2. Okay, this works out to be 5 over 2 comma negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5 over 2 comma okay so these are the coordinates of the midpoint 5 over 2 and negative 5 over 2 so 5 over 2 would be 2 and a half Let's, let's see if we can plot this point. Okay, and the so two and a half is about here, about two and a half, the halfway point between two and three. Negative five over two is negative two and a half, which is about here. All right, negative two and a half, which means that our point is located. around here okay this looks like the center the middle point of the line all right so it looks like we are correct let's look at number three now the magnitude so the magnitude is how long 
the line is what is the length of the line okay so we are using our formula square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared so we square root in that let's substitute values now x1 is 1 circle here and x2 is 4 so we have 1 take away 4 squared plus y1 is negative 2 and y2 is negative 3 circle again minus 2 minus minus 3 squared okay so we'll move that out so 1 take away 4 is 3 squared plus minus 2 minus minus 3 is minus 2 plus 3 squared okay all of this is under the square root sign that is equal to the square root of 3 3 is 9 plus negative 2 plus 3 is 1 positive 1 squared so we square root of 9 plus 1 squared is 1 by 1 which gives us 1 so the square root of 9 plus 1 is 10 so the square root of 10 units long okay and you can work this out in your calculators so we have found gradient midpoint and magnitude just remember that gradient means slope midpoint means the middle point of the line and magnitude means the length of the line and also remember our formulae for gradient which i am putting in green boxes these are the formulae that i wanted to remember gradient midpoint and the magnitude okay right so thanks for watching and i hope you have a very good day goodbye